So I had a little bit of free time the other day and decided to go hit Bent Creek and try to sneak in nine holes real quick. Unfortunately, the golf course was super busy and I had to jump a foursome just to be able to play. So this is my second shot that I hit like crap because I'm rushing to try to get ahead of that foursome. Um, so because of all of that, I didn't get to film my first tee shot. I didn't get to film an intro for the video. I didn't get to film the B-roll that I would normally use you know, to start a video off. And so this video, we're just jumping right into it. If you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you can see more content like this in the future. All right, guys, now that we got the first hole out of our system, now that we've raced to get ahead of the foursome that's behind us, I think now we can enjoy some golf. Uh, we're on hole two. Hole two's par three, playing about 130. Still nobody back there. So I feel like I can officially say that I am ahead of the foursome that was behind me. Should have put the camera on the other side so you could see the ball go in the water. But that's what makes this golf course so hard is that it's so easy to lose balls out here. All right, guys, took a five back there with the water drops. Not necessarily the worst that I've ever played that hole, um, but I wish I could have avoided the water. Probably shouldn't have hit driver. Uh, hole four is a par four. It's a relatively short par four. Probably shouldn't hit driver here either, but probably gonna. Y'all know how it is. Alright, found the ball on the left edge of the fairway, 73 yards left on it, so I'm going to try like a three-quarter gap wedge, try to keep the ball down a little bit, I don't want to fly it up in the wind if I don't have to. Ah, roll, roll, roll. Well, I guess, I guess this is what I get for thinking I'm good enough to know how to Flight the ball a certain way. Probably should have just attacked it with a lob wedge. Hole five is another short par four. Water all the way down the right side. Pretty much just like this hole. So I was going to hit my five iron here. But as you can see, there's three bunkers, four bunkers out there, and they're all kind of in that five iron area. So even though it's a short par four, and even though it's a dumb idea with all the water up the right, I'm still going to hit a driver and try to carry it past the bunkers. hit driver to try to take a bunker out of play and ended up bringing a whole different bunker into play. This time we're just gonna try to bump and run it with an eight iron. 
rather just play something super safe. Pretty solid start to the game. Even with a couple of really bad shots, we've still been able to maintain a pretty decent score. Don't mind. Next hole's par five. Uh, huge bend off to the right in it. So let's see how this goes. I uh, I have a small YouTube channel. Oh really? Yeah. So I think chit-chatting with that old man cost me a stroke. I ended up losing a ball, kind of lost concentration as I was talking to him and then was trying to keep pace of play. So I just kind of walked up and hit the ball and didn't really focus on it like I should have. I guess it is what it is, but let's try to get this thing up and down for par. Clipped that one pretty good. It was right on line, but ended up going a little bit long. Be a pretty hard putt from the back fringe. All right, I put a little extra mustard on that first putt because you never know how it's going to come out of the rough. take that it's still a good par <laughs> all right guys as nice as it would have been to catch that bird i'm still just happy with the par happy that we're playing this good and i'm happy that i'm trying to keep it together two more holes to go guys let's hold in there Unfortunately, that ball did not get down, and I believe it's over the hill and into the woods. So let's uh, get a search party together and see if we can go figure this thing out. Huh. So, funny enough, we are today, today I'm playing with a tailor-made I'm going to take a drop from there. Today I'm playing with a TaylorMade Project S, right, with the three teal dots on it. While looking for this ball, did I see this vice ball right next to it? And I was like, huh, I normally play vice. Let's grab that. Let's see what that is. Well, hello. Where is it? Lo and behold, look at there. Would you look at there? So funny enough, I don't actually remember losing that ball. The last time I played that hole, I actually played it pretty well, and I didn't lose any balls there. And the time before that, um, I can't really remember, but it's been so long since I played Bent Creek that I'm pretty sure I was still playing the uh, red vice balls back then. The blue ones are actually newer. So... I don't know, man. I think somebody may have found that ball somewhere else and then lost it. I know I throw a lot of them out like Easter eggs. So if you're the guy that lost that ball, let me know in the comments. Or if you found this channel, 
uh, by finding any of these balls that I lose, uh, also let me know that in the comments, because that'd be pretty rad. While I got you pulled out, um, you know, out of the video, and we're going to sit here in the office for a second, I want to shout out a couple of channels. Um, first one is my homie, uh, Fernando, over at Fernando's Golf Life. That dude's just kind of out filming course vlogs. His channel's kind of similar to mine. He's just grinding. He's trying to get better at golf, but, uh, He's always commenting on my videos and liking my stuff, and I'm always watching his videos. And, you know, we're, we're basically doing the same thing, even though he's out in California. We're both just trying to figure out how to get better at golf and trying to have fun and make some videos and get out there and, you know, just enjoy the game. Um, while I'm at it, uh, Chili Dip of Golf, uh, Mr. Mark here, um, he actually shouted me out the other day on his channel. Uh, that doesn't make it any better. I thought that might make it easier to see his channel. But um, I'm going to put links in the description for all of this stuff. Uh, he shouted me out the other day. He does basically the same thing I do, but he plays with Greg Corkman of Greg Corkman Golf. I'll link him down below as well. Shout out to Greg. Um, he plays with that guy a lot, and they play a bunch of tournaments up, uh, up just north of Atlanta, and they get out there and grind and, and have a bunch of fun doing that. Um, and then the last guys that I want to throw a shout out at is Colin Ross. Um, honestly, he should probably be first on the list. Colin Ross found my channel when I had like 30 subscribers and I wasn't doing anything. And like, he was in my comments section giving me advice and like trying to tell me how to clean my videos up and stuff. Y'all probably recognize him from the GM golf channel. Um, so I don't know why he was wasting his time talking to me when I've got I still don't have a bunch of subs. I'm still like nobody on YouTube. So huge shout out to Colin Ross for even like acknowledging my channel, man. That's super cool. Uh, glad to have you on the team, man. I guess with that, let's uh, jump back in the other video. Start by making a drop. That might actually be pretty good. Oh no. Yeah, that hurt. Had to take a triple there. Um, I mean, I knew we weren't really going to make par once I put it in the woods and had to take an unplayable drop. But I didn't really want to take a triple there, but just couldn't get the ball out of the rough like I wanted to. Couldn't get the club on the ball. And then I had a downhill live for my second chip. So super long putt trying to get it the ball in. But all in all... I mean, the day's still going well. I guess if I have to take a triple, well, then I'll just have to stomach a triple. I'm not going to have to be happy about it, but I guess I have to take it. So, last hole coming up. Hole nine, straight straight that way. No fancy nothing to it. No water, no anything. Maybe a few trees to get in the way of, but other than that, it's pretty straightforward hole. Pretty good one to close the game out on. Yeah, it's a tailor made. Oh, I hit that way too hard. Oh, Jesus.
what happened there? Jesus, this, this ball sucks. Kind of thing in the woods. All right, guys, that's it for the video today, man. I appreciate you tuning in. If you're still in the video this long, be sure to get down there, like the video, be sure to subscribe to this channel, leave me a little comment below and let me know how it goes. I had super fun making this one. Plus eight is an amazing round for me. Uh, even though, like, it, it honestly was almost like a really, really good round, um, I will still take plus eight, man. I am super happy with the way I played, and I appreciate you guys tuning in, and I'll see you all in the next video.